Hey guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to GoMahamaya.com and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk on the image optimization to get 100 out of 100 on the image optimization in GT Matrix. Number one rule required for image optimization is the page ruler. This link will be there in the description box. You need to click on add to Chrome and click on add extension and the extension will be added and it will open a tab and let's say cancel this go back and refresh the tab you'll find this extension is got added in this area you can drag and drop anywhere you want and let's say what is the use of this tool is let's say i choose this blog and uh, click on the page ruler and the best part of the image optimization, you, you upload a fixed size images, which will help you to reduce the weight of the image. Let's say you click here and start measuring, choose appropriate size that you want to upload for almost bigger images. Let's say the perfect size for this website is 830 and the height perfect will be 370 or you can upload 380 also, no issue. You write down the measurement, A30 and the 370 height. So what you need to do, you download any images from wherever you want. Let's say I'm choosing this image from my website and I'll click on free download. This is a pixel.com. When you click on save image and it's get downloaded. When you click on show all, check the size of the image, let's say properties and the image size is around 9 MB. If you'll upload 9 MB image, time for loading that image will be quite high. So you need to minimize the pixel. And when you click here dimension for that, dimension is 4912 cross 2760. But we can reduce it to width is equal to A30 and the height equals to 370. Now right click on the image and say open with paint brush and inside the paint brush you'll find the dimension is quite high so click on resize and there you click on pixel and remove the maintain aspect ratio and now you write your required dimension that my required dimension is 830 pixel into 370 click on ok and click on save and come out of that and when when you click over this you can see the size is 83.4 mb you saved a lot of data. Now we are going to use one more tool for the image compression that will compress your image. Now this is the tool that we are going to use for further image compression. This link will be there in the description box. You can use this tool and click on upload image. Why we use that compression using the paint brush is because if you upload 9 MB images, the time for low uploading will be quite high. So we have decreased the size and let's say choose the image and click on open and now when you try to upload it will upload faster and let's say click on compression method A and here you have image quality you are you want to decrease the image quality if you decrease the image quality it will save a lot of data let's say you want to reduce the quality to 60 percent if it's a product make sure the image quality you're using is 100 percent if it is a blogging website reduce it to 60 or 70 percent and here in the resize size you can leave it to 00 auto because it will be same auto means it will be 00 whatever size you're uploading will be fixed and now read the rest of the option will be same as like and click on compress image and you have saved a lot of data from 83.4 KB to 16.3 KB and say click on download and now check the file. Let's say our dimension is accurate and file says is 16.2 KB. And now we'll go to our WordPress post and there you go to post all posts or whatever. I'll create a new post and you can write title whatever title you want and click here and say add a media and say select file and now this image is compressed and size is 16.2 kb and click on open 
and these things will come talk about later on because this comes under SEO and let's say the size is around full size we want you can choose if you are choosing make sure you're uploading exact size which you want to use so it will save a lot of bandwidth and data not to download the image so I want to use a full size image because I need that much size exactly measure side I have uploading insert into post uh, let's say publish and now open this in a new tab and uh, this is a size this size is accurate whatever we need and now we'll take another tool to measure our page whether it's optimized or not we are using GT matrix for this purpose and now we'll take the page copy the link and paste here and say analyze Once your data get ready, scroll down and you have to search for the optimized image and there you will find your score is 100%. If it is fine, uh, the image size is bigger than something. You have to, what you need to do, let's say I'm uploading another image which is bigger than that. Let's say I'm uploading this file and say insert into post and one more image I have uploaded and say update. And now ask him to retest. And you'll find your data, the page rank decreases and in the image optimization, you'll find you need to optimize this further decrease in the size that it will save 17.3 KB. So you have to click on optimize version and this is the optimized version of the image say download and save the image desktop or whatever place you want and say save the image and open the image and this is the image that we downloaded from that website that is pixel photo to something a bigger one so we'll go to our website again and we'll update this image say edit replace upload and choose this image and say replace and say update now go to GT matrix again and say retest and we'll show you 100% again and the image optimization is showing 100% again and both our images on our website is 100% optimized